In the frantic Seven. final moments of the Dim Sum Challenge, Seven. Oh, Marita discovers Five. that her team's shrimp dumplings are missing in action. We never got those things. Two, one, stop! Yeah! <laughs> We've got four out of five dishes on that platter. It was the one we couldn't get. Both of us were, like, majorly screwing it up. I'm scared of going home. It's time to taste your dishes. Marita and Julie, please bring your dim sum up. Marita definitely carried that, for sure. What happened to the fifth? The shrimp dumpling. It didn't make it on the plaza today. Why not? <sighs> Couldn't get them wrapped in time. Wow. Who's to blame for that misstep? I guess the two of us. Really? Is that what you think, Julie? I had them rolled out. She was the one trying to fill them. So I don't know what happened. What happened here? God, look at that. You can see that it exploded in the fryer. I've never made those before. These look nice, on the other hand. Who's responsible for the filling? I was, Chef. That's dim sum. Big flavors. It's tender inside. That's close to the real thing. Oh, thank you, Chef. This I still can't get over. I'm really sorry. Come on, Julie, get it together. I can't even look at her. I'm gonna start to cry too myself. It's burnt, it's very greasy. That's unfortunate. Please go back to your station. Tamara and Pino, please bring up your dishes. Looks impressive. Who did what? It was pretty much a joint effort. Tamara did a lot more of the seasoning because she has a keener sense on what to make in the dim sum. Pino was able to do all the other stuff when we're switching off that I'm not able to. It was a time to lead and a time to follow, and this time for me was definitely a time to follow. Spring roll, well, the color is nice. I must say, it's very good. Thank you, Chef. Seasoned nicely, deep frying, crispy, and not greasy. Now, Hakao shrimp dumpling is the hardest one. Pastry, and also the thickness, I think you got it right. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, seasoning, a little bit bland. But on that, very impressive. Thank Coming you. from you, that's amazing. That's, Thank yeah. you. So tell me what you put into the sumai. We have some pork, we have sugar, sesame oil, and ashitake mushrooms. So I should be able to taste all those flavors? Yes, chef. Did you taste it yourselves? We did, actually. You know what? Those flavors came through. Thank you very much, chefs. You're telling me you're the best. Ciao, best. Kayla, Eric, please bring your platter up. I must say, that actually looks very professional. But then, your grandfather had a dim sum restaurant, right? Looks like he passed a lot of that to you. Well, Mike, definitely you put two cats in the cage. <laughs> they definitely came out fighting. But I don't think you got the result you wanted. No, but at one point, though, Eric did get a bit frazzled. You bloody lost it. You lost it completely. Yes, sure. And you want to know? She got you back. She calmed you down. Thank you, Kayla. We both did great. So let's see the hot gal. You can see it's a little bit loose. That's not what a proper hot gal should be. Severely under seasoned. The shrimp is overcooked and quite bland. Did you actually taste any of the filling? No, oh, Chef. You didn't. You have to.
Did you actually taste any of the filling? No, Chef. You didn't? You have to. Who's responsible for the spring roll? That was both of us, but he gave great leadership on what to do. Do you agree that it was a collaboration, the spring roll? Absolutely, Chef. Uh, she did the mise en place, and then I finished wrapping it. That's perfect. Great flavor, great texture. Exactly what I expect from a spring roll. Thank you, Chef. Very nice. The seasoning is disappointing. Overall, great presentation, portion size, quality. Just a little let down on the taste. Please go back to your station. This is my cuisine. That's really frustrating because I wanted perfection. I knew they were going to nail us with that. It's not good enough to keep us here. At least one person will be leaving the MasterChef Canada kitchen today. We need a moment to discuss. It didn't look good, it didn't taste good. It disappointed on the palate. You cannot bring anything to the judging table without tasting it. That's the right. number one rule. I'm kicking myself for not tasting the dishes. At this stage of the game, you're not tasting your food? What is going on? I am not ready to go home. There was one standout dish of dim sum. It was made by a team that managed to replicate the professional appearance of the sample platter. That winning dim sum platter belonged to Tamara and Pino. Congratulations, you two. Thank, Thank you very you. much. You're both safe from elimination. Head up to the gallery. Thank you, chefs. Pino and Tamara will now be team captains in the upcoming field challenge. <laughs> and now, it comes down to you two teams. Kayla, if your team gets through today, who deserves most of the credit? Eric obviously has more knowledge of dim sum than I do, but I think we both worked equally hard, and we both did our very best today. Julie, if your team gets through, do you think you deserve half the credit? No. Would you agree, Marita? I do agree. The team that is safe from elimination is... Kayla and Eric. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Marita and Julie, please step forward. Marita, it was clear that your team accomplished what it did today because of your leadership. And I'm sorry, Marita. As much as you tried to help, Unfortunately, a team is only as strong as its weakest link. Julie, you're going home. Marita, please head up to the gallery. I'm really sorry to see Julie go. She's a great home cook, but that's just the name of the game. Julie, congratulations on making it this far. Thank you. I'm sure that your family is very proud of you. Keep cooking and keep following your food dreams. Best of luck.